Reactions are beginning to trail the margins of Ashwajibola Tinubu as the APC presidential candidate. Lagos State PDP flag bearer Oladi Pupo Adebutu says Ashwajibola Tinubu is not a threat whatsoever. Why should that be a burden to us? It is not a burden to us. This is national politics. And after a while, those results will come and those results will go. We're now being joined by the North Central Zonal Coordinator, Atiku Support Organization, and Senior Special Assistant to the Benue State Governor on Student Affairs, Honorable Angu Ogu. Thank you for joining Thank us tonight. Yeah. Also joining us tonight is a political analyst, Biodo Shoumi. Hello, Honorable. Can you Hello. hear me? Yeah. Good evening, Nigerians. Good evening. Uh, moving to the primaries, uh, the APC primaries that the result was announced today. Um, PDP had long waited for this day and Atiko didn't waste time before calling uh, a governor's meeting. Now, do you see this as a keenly contested election between two friends in 2023? And do you think the battle is over? Mm, thank you very much. Uh, good evening, Nigerians. It's good to have me in your studios. And though we are Zoom, uh, we would like to congratulate Asiwajua Medbola Tinubu for his success at uh, the convention of his party. He's now the flag bearer. But I would like to say that the PDP and His Excellency the Waziri Adamawa. Alaji Atiko Abubakar is going to trash his friend uh, in 2023. And it's what Nigerians uh, have always waited for. And like I will always say, it is Atiko o'clock. It is time for Nigerians to have a, a departure from the failed APC government. It is time for Nigerians to enjoy good governance. It is time for the insecurity we are experiencing in this country to be fixed. It is time for Nigerians to unify as a people. That is why uh, His Excellency Atiku Abubakar is himself the unifier. So we are super excited we are prepared uh, to go into the 2023 general elections. And just like you said, we see two friends, two old horses in the battlefront. And we as young Nigerians, uh, it's really exciting to say that we will be lining up behind those ones, not particularly because of their age, but for me, His Excellency Atiko Abubakar is a man that has a competence that has all it takes to take back this country to its lost glory. A country that has been bastardized by the APC government in the last seven plus years. A country that oh, we, we, we've lost our place in the community of nations. A country that within this short period has become the poverty capital of the world. It is really, really unfortunate. So Nigeria uh, waited, I have, I have Nigerians to, waited for this there. time. Mr. Biodu, can you hear me? Yes, I can. All right. What's your opinion about uh, today's primaries? What's your opinion about the outcome of today's election? Would you say it was free and fair? Oh, yes. Um, the, the, the election was not only free and fair, you know, it meets all the required standards of transparency okay. in the sense that it was manifestly seen by all that the vote in that primary actually counted. And therefore, 
I think it's a model, you know, something short of um, option A4, where people actually kill behind their candidates. You know, I, I think it should be recommended. The way it has been uh, conducted, the way it has been reported, monitored, you know, clearly demonstrated fairness, in my view. All right. Um, uh, do you do you do you think uh, Tinubu can close ranks with uh, different factions within the party before 2023? Although he has said those who did step down have nothing to fear. Yeah, don't forget um, one of Tinubu's uh, uh, major slogan is that he's a, uni he's a unifier. You know, a unifier is somebody that brings everybody together and try and build a house. You know, out of so many houses. I have no doubt that um, if you read the speech uh, which was delivered, the acceptance speech by Bola Tinubu, he clearly gave the indication that he intends, you know, to unify the party, bring everybody together. And I have no doubt, you know, that uh, he will actually uh, ensure that all bridges are built, you know, all. Uh, roads are tied in a way that uh, everybody can come together. Don't forget, this is the first order, getting the, uh, being the flag bearer of the party. He needs everybody to join him in ensuring that he can be successful in the presidential election. So I do not see any reason why he would not be magnanimous in this case, because he actually needs his opponent. So I honestly think that he will reach out to his opponent uh, with a view of to galvanize all the human resources within the APC, you know, to confront the major opposition parties, the PDP. So back to you, Honorable. Do you think uh, Tinubu's victory is a proof of his acceptance by the Northern Delegate? Do you see him getting the same traction from the North at the general election, like Atiku? Uh, he's not going to be the president of Northern Nigeria. So I must say that, just like I said before, Nigerians are tired of the APC. The APC government led by General Mohamed Buhari, it's a total failure. Uh, not to south, east to west. So it's not a question of uh, the Asiwaju getting the acceptability or acceptance in the North. It is a question of the generality of Nigerians rejecting the APC uh, party and whatever it represents, including uh, their candidate. And Nigerians are ever ready to embrace uh, the PDP and her candidate. And in this case, His Excellency, the Waziri in Adamawa, Elijah Tiko Abubaka. And this is a man that has a track record of fixing this country. This was a man that between 2019, no, 1999, sorry now, uh, when he headed, when he was the head of the economy of this country, we experienced the highest GDP ever possible. We experienced all the other uh, achievements that we've had as a nation were during the tenure of this man. And I would like to say that uh, my brother and friend from uh, Lagos stole the alias of my principal. It is not Tinubu that is the unifier. It is Alaja Atiko Abubakar that is the unifier. Tinubu has never told us that he is the unifier. He was only speaking to his party people. But His Excellency Atiko Abubakar has come out to tell all Nigerians that look, our country is bacchanized, our country is divided, and I am the unifier. And he keeps saying that to unify this country, to make it as one, because we need unity of peoples. Mm. And the APC government and whatever it represents has, doesn't have that unity of peoples. This country has been divided between tribal lines, have been divided between uh, ethnic lines. 
And we don't see any of the APC leaders coming out to see how they will unify this country uh, uh, over time. So, All right, yeah, so prepared. Honorable, I, I, I want to hear um, Mr. Shomi's opinion about um, foreseeing Peter Obi snatching more votes from Matiku than from any other candidates. What's your opinion? Hello? Can you hear me? Yeah, I didn't hear that question. All right, uh, I'm going to take it again. Uh, do you foresee Peter will be snatching more votes? Uh, not like snatching, but getting more votes from Atiku than from any other candidates? Oh, Peter will be? Yes. Oh, yeah, certainly. When you look at uh, the, the way the whole thing is panning out now, um, I think um, Atiku will be somehow disadvantaged. You only need to look at the pattern of voting um, within, in the country since 1999. Usually, PDP dominates the vote, you know, in the South. East. Now, with a Peter Obi leading the Labour Party, and with a huge swell of um, public um, frustration in the South East against the, the two major political parties, we are likely going to see a major swing in the South East towards Labour Party and Abga. And should that happen, um, the PDP uh, candidates would, um, would, would, would vote in that in South East will be decimated, badly decimated. So, and the further implication of it is PDP may end up, you know, appearing to be a regional party at the end of the day, having lost so much in South East. So the, the, the new structure that will come into play will be based on the decision of the Southern government. And if they mobilize people on that basis, we are likely going to see the APC gaining um, in the South-South and in the Southwest and also in the Northwest, which is likely going to um, contribute to, to their victory. Whereas PDP is likely going to lose votes, particularly in the South East. And right. South so my, my, my final question to the Honorable. Now, uh, Tinubu's perceived political enemies, we didn't still have a choice. What's the, the possibility that they will not secretly join forces with uh, an opposition? Uh, Atiku is the unifier. And as of today, very top senators of the APC are decamping to the PDP. Former Governor Alero of Kirby State, who is also holding very strategic uh, chairmanship of committees in the Senate, just re resigned from the APC to the PDP uh, just yesterday. What am, I, what, what am I saying? What I'm saying that the PDP as a party is unified. The PDP as a party is going to go into the election as one man and one people so that, first of all, to rescue this country, to rebuild this country, and... To our, just our slogans, to rescue, rebuild, and uh, forgotten the last one. But I wanna, what, I, what, what I like to say is, we are not going in, there will be no saboteurs. Since His Excellency Atiko Abubakar won the, 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 the convention, won at the convention of our party, he has been moving around all the other candidates, galvanizing their support, greeting all of them, and there was no rancor, unlike what we saw at the APC you know, convention, uh, which, <laughs> which was <laughs> more like a uh, doubt. Thank you so much. Uh, you know, we had a very peaceful convention and everything went yeah. on very well. And as of today, just like your news mentioned, all the PDP governors are meeting with him and we are putting out strategies on how we are going to rescue and rebuild this nation. Thank you How so much, Honorable.
Thank you so much, Honorable Hangu and uh, Mr. Biodo Shomi for your contributions tonight. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.